Kyle McCaffold made some big plays for your offense uh, this past weekend. Just what, what is it like to have a, a dynamic player like that uh, to kind of run the air raid system? He does a good job. We recruited him at Washington State. You know, we just didn't get him. Um, and then he recruited us here at uh, Mississippi State. Uh, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, he said, well, we can catch a lot more balls at Washington State. And then, uh, then we go to Mississippi State and he goes, he goes, yeah, I want to catch a lot more balls. And, and so anyway, so we came here, so it was a good deal. Um, but I, we, he just needs to finish, you know, be a guy that finishes plays. We, you know, he's got to play through fatigue a little bit. He is dynamic and he does play the ball in the air well and he's, uh, and he's a skilled guy. And I think he's really done quite a lot as far as, uh, you know, not uh, and not directly, but just put good stuff on film that we can uh, uh, use to illustrate as example for our other players. Steve, <laughs> Coach, speaking of, of Tulu, I believe he didn't have a catch on, on Saturday. Is is that really a byproduct of the defense kind of shading his way? And, and how do you maybe get him more involved in the offense? We need to get him more involved, and we talked about that some. You know, right now what he does best is kick return. Um, but I do think he's a good receiver, and he's really good on screens and all that stuff. So I think we've got to get him more and more involved. And, uh, and you know, he's, it was kind of in and out in camp, and so that was tough. And then, uh, anyways, yeah, but he's, uh, we, we've got, uh, you know, that's kind of the subject of nearly, uh, every meeting we have, and then sometimes he'll disappear on you as far as uh, uh, what he does. But he is kind of an intense uh, guy as far as what he's able to do uh, physically and things. And so we, we just got to get it all ironed out. I mean, he's another guy that's, uh, you know, he started about nine games also, so we got to get him rolling. Yeah. Uh, Coach Archer Trafford getting the punting duties the other day. What did you think of him in his first? Game with you guys. I thought he I thought he did pretty well, you know. I mean I think uh, uh, you know we got we got a punt less obviously, but um, uh, I thought he did a pretty good job. Steph. Uh, Coach Horton talked a little bit today during his press conference about being embarrassed by last year's game and, and the numbers you guys were able to put up against them. I mean when you reflect on last year, how much of that do you kinda of use uh, as you prepare for this week? Well, not a lot because they did change uh, a lot of coaches over there, so it's pretty tough, you know. Um, you know, there's really not much uh, crossover, at least as far as uh, you know the the personnel uh, that's calling it their coaches. So, you know, and I think Ed's more involved, is what I heard. I don't know that for sure, but uh, uh, so anyway, we we're taking what we got. What stands out to you about what LSU does on defense? You know, it's just kind of a fundamental defense that, uh, yeah, that uh, it's pretty, very fundamental. Um, uh, they, you know, they like uh, kind of the combination of man and, and various shell zones, and then um, and they're four man front. They don't mess with three man front a whole lot. And, uh, you know, very basic, very basic and very committed to what they do. And sometimes those types of defenses are the most dangerous.